Hey guys, it is Notch Network here, coming at you with the top 10 most haunted places in the United States according to TravelChannel.com. Coming in at number 10 is the Moundsville Penitentiary. During its more than 100 years in operation, the Moundsville Penitentiary in West Virginia was one of the most violent correctional facilities in America and the final stop for 1,000 criminals. The prisoners lived in cramped quarters which led to riots. Many men were hanged or killed by the electric chair, while others were murdered by other prisoners. The prison closed in 1995, but according to some, the tortured spirits are still behind bars in the, in the bowels of the prison and may be seen or heard on a tour. Coming in at number 9 is the Transallergenic Lunatic Asylum, once known as the Weston State Hospital. This asylum was home to thousands of people with mental illness. Starting in 1864, hundreds of people died here before the facility closed in 1994. The spirits that are said to haunt the site today date back to the Civil War era, when the asylum's grounds served as a military post. Paranormal tours of the facility featured two-hour visits to the asylum, four main hotspots. For the intense ghost hunt is an eight-hour overnight paranormal adventure with experienced ghost hunters. Coming in at number 8 is the Vilska Axe Murder House. On June 10, 1912, the old white frame house at 508 E 2nd Street became a grisly crime scene. The heinous murder of Joshua B. Moore, his wife, and their four children and two younger girls were overnight guests rocked the small town of Vilska, and the murderer was never identified. Over the years, the residents of the home reported visions of a man with an axe children crying in unexplained paranormal activity. In 1994, the home was restored to its original condition with indoor plumbing, with no indoor plumbing or electricity. Coming in at number 7 is Sammy Dean. Jerome, Arizona is a former copper mining town with paranormal reputation that dates back to the Wild West. The town is now home to just 400 residents down from 15,000 on its heyday, but legend has it the more are plenty more ghostly residents from the day's mining accidents. In gunfights, one well-known spirit is working girl Sammy Dean, a prostitute who was strangled by a customer in the old crib district. Her beautiful spirit roams the alleys looking for a killer who was never found. Coming in at number 6 is Cuban Club, also known as Circo Cubano de Tampa, which can be found in Tampa's Ybor City neighborhood. In 1917, this pub was a popular hangout for Cuban immigrants who enjoyed the barroom, outdoor banchel cantina with a stage and dance floor. Today, the compound, which is protected by the National Historic Register, hosts concerts and special events and is the setting for many ghost stories about spirits playing the piano and riding the elevators. Coming in at number 6 is Fort Mifflin. Built in 1771, Fort Mifflin is the country's oldest Revolutionary War battlefield that is still intact. There are 14 re restored buildings on the grounds on the Delaware River and reportedly plenty of spirits from the past. Among the ghosts said to haunt the fort is a screaming woman who cries so loud that the Philadelphia police have been called to investigate, only to find no one is there. Other characteristics in the local ghost stories include a faceless man wandering around the fort, a tour guide dressed in a revolutionary garb, and numerous children and dogs. Coming in at number 5 is the Moon River Brewery. Brought to its beloved beers in Savannah in 1999, but the building is one of the oldest in town, dating back to 1821. In its original incarnation, it was the City Hotel, a high-end hotel with a historic of violence. During the Civil War, men were killed in the hotel during heated skirmishes, including a Yankee who was beaten to death by locals in 1860. Some bar patrons say today that they've seen bottles mysteriously fly through the air and have witnessed guests being pushed, touched, and even slapped by unseen forces.
Coming in at number four is the Sultan's Place. The house at 716 Dauphin Street is a classic French quarterie built with classic wrought iron balconies and a large courtyard. But in the 1800s, the residence was a house of horrors for the Sultan, a wealthy man with a deprived lifestyle, multiple wives and children, a harem of women and young boys held against their will. Children complained about the mysterious habits of a man who had a prediction for partying opium and torture. Coming in at number three is Castle Courthouse. Tony Joe Henry has been the talk of the town of Lake Charles since the 1940s when she killed a man in cold blood, just as the notorious were her stunning good looks. The former prostitute charmed a gentleman in a pickup truck to give her a ride while she was walking the highway with a friend en route to spring her true love from a Texas prison. It took three trials for a jury to convict. The Tony Joe had charmed the courtroom and, ja and jail staff and divided her town over presumed guilt. Coming in at number one is the Eastern State Penitentiary. The Eastern State Penitentiary might be the creepiest place in all of Philly. The former prison was the first of its kind, thanks to its large size and subsequent budget. Directed by Quaker beliefs, it had infamously strict rules which encouraged isolation and punishment. Prison guards took to hooden inmates whenever they ventured outside their cells, and only the source of light was a skylight, which was believed to bring prisoners to the light of God. Touch spirits include in Sickle White Sutton continue to relentlessly haunt the grounds today.